Mankato State, but South Lake Carroll would have to do it without their great young coach, Riley Dodge. Defensive coordinator Lee Munn would take over and lead the way. We pick it up in the second quarter. Dragons down 13 to 7. Quinn Ewers keeps it. And check out the future Buckeye as he breaks a tackle, gets in there, and South Lake Carroll leads it 14 to 13. Duncanville would respond. Grayson James to Gerald Powers for the touchdown. It would go back and forth. 19 to 14, Duncanville leads it. Second quarter now, Ewers airing it out to Landon Sampson, who makes the great leaping grab, turns on the afterburners. He's gone. Ewers, 11 of 25 for 168 yards and just one TD pass. Dragons back on top, 21 to 19, under a minute to go. Malachi Medlock muscles his way in for the touchdown. It would go back and forth. Duncanville up 27-21. Then Owen Allen, he would break off tackle. This kid was huge. The stiff arm marches in for six. He was determined. He would rack up 245 total yards and two touchdowns. And without their head coach, South Lake Carroll takes down their nemesis. Last week, Riley Dodge getting to the quarterfinals and winning it was a defining moment, he said. This is a titanic moment for a school with a lot of moments. Going back to their first title game since 2011, which was the last time they won it all, and now they're going for a ninth trophy. Let's get some reaction from Paige Schnorbach. South Lake Carroll was the last team of the season to punch their ticket to state as they defeated a powerful Duncanville team at Globe Life Park. Coming in underdogs and without head coach Riley Dodge, who was out due to COVID-19 protocol, the Dragons were in a tight race through the first half. But with mistakes made by Duncanville and a defense that pitched a second half shutout, South Lake claimed the victory. People may look at and say that I stepped in, but really the credit, the, the whole credit goes to the coaching staff and these kids. Early on, I was probably being a little timid with my play calling. Our plan at halftime was, hey, we're just going to pressure them, and good things happened. Ticket punch! Yeah! South Lake's quarterback, Quinn Ewers, gets a lot of attention, and with two touchdowns tonight, it's easy to see why. But running back Owen Allen put on an impressive offensive performance, walking away with two touchdowns of his own. The scariest thing about him? He's only a sophomore. I feel amazing. I mean, it means so much to us as a team, as a program, and just when you have a quarterback like Quinn and receivers like Brady, Landon, and Hosey, and all of them, it challenges defense to be able to cover the whole field. Next week, South Lake moves just across the street to that big stage of AT&T Stadium in search of that final win of the season.